Okay. Um, now that we're, we're really progressing at this point, we, uh, uh, we need, really need to hook up this electrical down on the bottom. And as you can see, this is the old style here. I don't know if you can see, but there's a, there's a mica disc in there, which is kind of a cool old part. Uh, but they put the mica disc in there. And then the, the newer uh, iteration has a different shape and uses uh, uh, slightly different parts. But when we do this... Mica is actually a natural substance. Right, yes. We the, have the mica, mica that we use, we got up on Mica Mountain. Yes. Yeah, and it's, it's big sheets of it. It just lays on the ground, you know. Um, but this, uh, what you want to do now, make sure all of your your electrical connectors are in good condition. If they're melted, just replace them. You clip them off and clip on a new one. Um, the, uh, the these are these Olympia connectors are, are really nice. Uh, they're you know, these high temperature, they're, they're, I don't know, they almost feel like Bakelite. I don't know what they are. Some of them are more pliable. They've changed to silicon at times. But the one thing you want to make sure that you think of is when you clip off one of these things, they don't give you a lot of extra wire. So don't cut it too short. <laughs> don't cut it, yeah, don't just clip it off. Get up there and, and be very, very conservative. Take only what you need. And there's, especially up on the switch, you only have so much to work with up on the switch. And this particular wire here, this, these, these two that are tied in together, you can really short yourself uh, on this particular one here if you get too sloppy. Um, this is the, the old style fuse, which is a little bigger than the, than the newer thing. And the mounting is a, is a little different in this old style, which is just a simple little clip that sits on the edge of it. That's the ground wire that holds it in place. Uh, let me get show you some other parts. Um, many of you will be familiar with the... Uh, where is it? There it is. With this part. This is, is the standard uh, uh, clip that holds down the the resettable uh, thermal safety switch. This on is, some machines. Uh, yeah, on the newer machines for quite a long time. Uh, this was used on these, see this is kind of a larger diameter uh, switch. The, when they went to the smaller diameter switch, this fits over the switch itself and the, the resettable button sticks up through here. But that's the kind of, uh, that, that many people will be familiar with is this style here. And as you can see, it, it does have a tendency to rust. But the, uh, this is, is actually more common than this style here. But this is also works well. Something I was going to mention about this wiring before was that, I'm looking for my little, was that when you put on that, that boiler, especially if you've got this mounted in here, when you put on the heating element, Make sure you don't have your ground wire dangling in there between the two plates. Mm -hmm. It can happen. You can get a wire stuck between the two plates, and it's very frustrating when you realize that you did that. And this is all, you know, I'm just speaking from personal experience here. Okay, so all we have to do is mount that switch. This takes the little cheese head short screw short brass screw with washer. That's what goes in that position. Once again, this is a handy little cheater. I just put my switch down in there. Put my ground wire in position. This is a little, th this old system is a little easier to use, that's for sure, than, the, than that clip that I showed you. my other screwdriver, make sure it's good and tight. Now, this one goes on here. The, the double wire, the, the, the fitting that has two wires go in it, it goes on the back side where the hole is. We just push that one on here. And you make sure they're good and tight. It was explained to us by an electronics person that over time these spade terminals can, as they, they get dirty, they get hot, 
they will work harder and they'll lose their spring. And once they lose their spring, then the, they develop a, a, a short resistance in there. And uh, that's why... And that resistance heats up. Right. And causes and melts the terminal. And this is why many times you'll see <coughs> a screw post and the terminals will be, that's what they have on the new machines. They don't use this, these spades anymore. They use screw-ons because a screw-on is more, uh, it lasts longer, it's safer, especially if there's any vibration. But these can, as long as they're nice and tight, if this isn't tight, you can basically get into the end of it. If it's clean, you get into the end of it and you can pinch it down and make sure that it's nice and tight. It's just not wiggling. You notice that, you see, we have no wiggle in any of these, so they're all nice and tight. Now, we come on. This machine, we don't have to take apart the, you know, the, the switch stays on there, but once again, it's a matter of inspection to see that everything, none of the terminals are melted and everything is nice and clean uh, and through here. If they're melted, once again, you just change them out. Now, at this point, yes, we can do that. A little more electronics. Um, the old style has the long... This is the piece staff. This is the piece staff. It, it has the long pipe, and then they shortened the pipe uh, substantially. And uh, the very simplest thing to do here is that you just pull the wires out and you hook this up before you put the pipe on. It's a lot easier to see. Uh, order doesn't matter. Uh, it doesn't matter which uh, way that electricity goes through the switch. So either wire can go on either position? Right, but a lot of times it has to do with length. Are there only two spades on it? There's two. There's three spades, I'm sorry. There's three spades, you hook it up on the outside two. You leave the center spade empty. Uh, this means it's... the switch is closed, which means it's on. The switch is closed <coughs> at zero pressure. Uh, what happens is, is that if you were to hook it up be to the, from the front to this one, if you were to use this center one, this one and this one and this one and this one, mm -hmm. it would be off and it would turn on when it hit pressure. It works backwards. In this orientation... That could be confusing. Well, that could be confusing, but it has <laughs> happened. And, uh, but you hook it up onto the two outside spades of the micro switch. And uh, most of the time, it's just is the how long are the wires. The, the, you, you use the, the shorter wire goes, uh, sometimes you can't, uh, um, hook, you can only hook it up one way because the wires have been shortened. Now we just come on here. And that and pipe doesn't have a seal, correct? No seal. It's, this is just has a, it has what's called a cap. As you can see, it's sticking out a little. Hmm? Is it a compression? Yes, yeah, it's a compression. It's, it's the, they call it a cap fitting. And this is a cap nut. And it's all braised together. And, and uh, we're going to take this apart. This has to come off when we retighten all of the, uh, all of the seals after heat cycling. But you just look it over and you can see the orientation of this thing. It's sticking too far in the back. You just take it, once you get it tightened up there, you put it wherever you want to. Just give it a push. Yeah, you just give it a, give it a push in it and it reforms this. And it's the same thing. You, 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 you look at this plane here, you don't want it sticking out so far that it'll hit the, the, hit the case when you go to put the case on. It might be out a little far now, but we're going to heat cycle it with the case off, so it's not really that critical. Uh, at this point, um, we are going to need to have the face polished. Oh. And uh, that's not my job. Uh, but once we have the face polished, we can hang on the steam, we can hang on the group, we're done, basically. Uh, we do a heat cycling, uh, we do a little work on the case, but as you, as you can see at this point, this is all ready to, to install the last two components in the faceplate, and uh, we get to see it work. So that's the, that's the next thing we're going to do, and we'll see you then.